compound proportion sometimes change in a quantity depends upon the change in two or more other quantities in some proportion type 1 the quantity may be in direct proportion with each of the other quantities the ratio which shows the change in the quantity is the ratio obtained by compounding of the ratios in which the other quantities change type 2 the quantity may be in direct proportion with some of the quantities and in inverse proportion with the rest then the ratio which shows change in the quantity is the ratio obtained by compounding the ratios of the quantities with which it is in direct proportion and the inverse of the ratio of the quantities with which it varies inversely type 3 the quantity may be in inverse proportion with all the others then the ratio which shows the change in the quantity is the ratio obtained by compounding the inverse ratio of other quantities 